My name's Matthew, and today I get to walk you around this remarkable 2017 on a 67 registration Mercedes AMG GTC Roadster. Now the GTC sits between Mercedes GTS and the GTR. So it sits between those two cars on purpose. It's got more performance, just over 550 brake horsepower and some of the amazing technology from the GTR sort of super track focused version of this car with the rear axle steer and lots of technology carried over into the GTR at the back end of the car mechanically. But this car is special because it's 16,000 miles from new, two owners from new, which is very low for a vehicle of this type. And it is finished in Selenite Magno, which is absolutely amazing to look at. That's this matte finished or satin finished paint. It's extremely expensive at Mercedes-Benz to option this over a standard metallic color. And it is a very, very rare thing in this color. So we're gonna start at the front end and run you around all of the features on this pretty remarkable car. So at the front, we've got the Mercedes Pan American grille. These vertical strakes now become a really sort of solid piece of um, architecture on modern Mercedes AMG cars. Fantastic front park sensors, all sort of very neatly integrated into that front grille and the lower sections. And you've got this lovely sort of satin silver effect on the car all the way around on this lower front splitter section and this sort of divider for the front radiator cooling section here as well. You do have LED high performance Mercedes headlights as well. They do have high beam assist as well. And then you come around the passenger side and we have Mercedes twin five spoke AMG performance wheel. This is the most common wheel fitted to the GTC. So it seems like it is specific to the GTC from what we can see. It's a fantastic looking wheel. And behind that, you've got the big brake calipers, the big sort of bright red painted brake calipers with the AMG logo finished nicely on the front of them. The car is also sitting on Michelin Pilot Supersport tires, which are probably one of the best tires you can put on a modern road car. Coming down the passenger side, that satin silver finish also works really nicely against the Magno. And if you have a look, it's there on those sort of horizontal strakes across these sort of kidney grills on the side flanks here and on that lower trim section under the door. And I do think that little bright color breaks up the Magno across the car. And then come inside and have a look at the interior. Full black leather throughout the car with some white contrast stitching or some light gray contrast stitching and it's such a special place to sit in these cars. And I'll run you through a lot of the options that you have inside the car when we get round there, but things like air scarf, illuminated sort of aluminum door tread plates and the glass fiber trim. But we'll go through all of that when we sit in it as we go around the back of the car. The rear wheels are a bigger wheel, so it is a split fitment. So we have 20 inch wheels at the back here and they are really amazing. They're sort of sunk into the car so you can see how they're very different to the front wheel when you look at them almost side on. And then here's where the car gets very interesting because it has essentially most of the GTR's rear end. So you get the changed or updated rear bumper with this massive sort of air escape and huge sort of extra sort of width to it at the back of the, uh, the bumper here. And then the park sensors again, neatly finished in there and the big chrome exhaust pipes the car is also fitted with the AMG Sports Performance exhaust as well. You do have this extra sort of vent section here. I'm not 100% sure as to what that actually does, but again, giving that back end even more presence. You do also have a deployable rear wing here and then lovely chrome badging on the back again. And because the car is this satin finish, whenever there's a contrast color against it, I do think it really pops and it makes the back of this car look even more special. The car is also fitted with a reverse camera. And when we come around the driver's side and jump in the car, I'll show you that when I get into the onboard controls. So I'm gonna jump in the car now. And I'm gonna run you through some of the controls inside the car. So we'll start on the driver's door and there's a lot to talk about because again, not, this car is not a standard car. It's got lots of optional extras. So first and foremost, the glass fiber, almost carbon fiber-esque, but glass fiber trims fittings, they're throughout the car down the center tunnel as well. And this car is also fitted with the very, very expensive Burmester high-end premium stereo. So on a standard car, you do get the Burmester stereo. This is the high-end version of it. It is actually etched into that aluminum speaker grille. And I do believe it is a few thousand pounds extra to have this stereo. 
fully electric seats, sorry, electric windows, I beg your pardon, and electric mirrors, and they are power folding. And then they are fully electric seats with driver memory, but because it's the AMG GT, you have this sort of sill section and the electric controls are down here, so they're quite hard to see. So if the cameraman can't see that, that would explain it. So coming into the, uh, the cabin itself, I'll fire the car into life. Four litre twin turbo V8, just over 550 horsepower in this version of the car. And have a look at this. This is Mercedes AMG Performance steering wheel. It's half microfiber, so it's half Alcantara on the grips there and beautifully finished in leather top and bottom and a lovely little flat bottom section there for knees, just like a race car. Automatic headlights and then in this steering wheel you've got multi-function for your voice control and your Bluetooth and the volume settings on the right and then the controls for that multi sort of media screen in the middle on the left hand side so you can flick through lots of driver modes and obviously go through any of the settings in the car through there as well. And then if I spin the wheel, it's gonna be quite hard to see, but the car is fitted with cruise control. That's the stalk for that. And there is a small stalk, which you're never gonna see, which controls the steering column, which is all electrically adjustable. Another nice little feature, if you can see on that side, is the Burmista high-end premium stereo also comes with these little tweeters. If I can lean over and show you over here, Again, very different to a car that doesn't have that stereo, stereo. So they're the little giveaways that the car has got the upgraded stereo. And then I'll come across into the center of the cabin. This is Mercedes-Benz command system. It still is a fantastic system. Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming. And if I put the car into reverse, there's your big reverse camera, which is very, very helpful in a car like this. And then I'll come back out and the car does also have, obviously, Mercedes inbuilt navigation system. Again, very, very easy to use and you can zoom right out. You can see it's still very, very clear, this system. It is still very easy to use. I've got myself all the way out to sort of Europe there. Um, heated seats in the front and also heated air scarf in the front seats as well. Obviously it's only front because there's two seats. It's a sports car, I do apologize. But you can see you've got these little vents just behind where your neck is. That blows hot air out of there. So you can have the windows and the roof off, but the windows up on a slightly cooler summer's day or in the evening of a summer's day, but still manage to drive the car with the roof off and keep yourself warm with a heated seat and a nice load of warm air coming around your neck, hence the term air scarf. Coming down the center console here, all that glass fiber dashboard I think is stunning. All this trim section actually is amazing. And in here with the high LED lights, you can see it all reflecting off of that trim. Dual zone climate control, two massive cup holder sections under there. And obviously when that trim comes out, it just smooths this hole out. This is in the shape of a V to represent the V8 in the car. And you have four buttons on each side to represent the eight cylinders of the car. So this has all been really well thought out. Drive controls are all here. And in the GTC, you do have a race mode, which is this mode down here. So if I go all the way to Sport Plus and you can hear the car get a lot louder, the suspension goes to full hard setting and the sports exhaust switches itself on. The exhaust can be switched all on its own. And if I give it a little blip, you can see how loud the car suddenly becomes. And then under here, lovely to have the AMG logo sort of uh, embossed onto the leather section of the uh, center console there. Two USB, -C, USB slots and a load of storage underneath. And then a lovely little wind deflector behind the seats here as well. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna run the roof. And again, a nice thing about the AMG GTC or the AMG GT Roadsters as a model is because the roof doesn't go into the boot, it folds into a little section just behind these seats here. It's a very, very fast roof. So I'm just gonna run that for you now and you can see just how quick that roof is. And I'll just jump out the car now and summarize it for you. Again, it's nice to see how the car looks with the roof up. And I think these are a very, very striking car, even with the roof up, and just as good looking with the roof up as it is with the roof down. And I think people underestimate how sort of head turning these cars are now. They are still an incredibly sort of distracting car when you're out driving them. People do look at them. They're very, very special to look at. So just to summarize, a two owner car with a full Mercedes Benz main dealer service history with a fantastic specification in that all important Magno Selenite gray. And as I say, one of my favorite summer convertible choices. My name is Matthew. Thank you very much for watching.